Hello, if you're like me, you know that Beverly Hills 90210-1990 is one of the best TV series of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun if you pulled up a chair by the campfire and watch it again with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's see together. Brandon Walsh is played by actor Jason Priestley. In 1990, when filming, he was 21 years old, and now he's living out the life at the age of 53. Myself into a new set of wheels. Oh, you definitely need a new set of wheels. Yeah, I know. Oh man, I found this car around the corner at the garage. Mechanic's been working on it all year. It's a 65 Mustang. Towers everywhere. Luke was falling to his knees, you know, looking up in the heavens and crying, no, oh, you know. I had a, the camera on a crane pulling away from. Steve Sanders is played by actor Ian Ziering. In 1990, when filming, he was 26 years old, and now he's living out his life at the age of 58. is worthless but if you go over there i think you'll find what i truly believe is the best spot on the beach those things i mm. mean what eight-year-old boy didn't run around with a cape and a sword in his hand at some point in his life i'm that guy when i got the audition for this literally the eight-year-old boy donna martin is played by actress tori spelling in 1990 when filming she was 17 years old and now she's living out the life at the age of 49. i don't like levez vous si vous plaît David has that same shirt. Well, I mean, it's not exactly the same shirt, but it, it's the same color. <laughs> there wasn't social media and internet, and it was just different. So we would see these crazy stories that were so far from the truth, but we couldn't do anything about it. Brenda Wash is played by actress Shannon Doherty. She was 19 years old when filming in 1990, and now she's living out the life at the age of 51. I wait to have sex with a guy that I love. I act responsibly, I take every precaution, and I'm green. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be that person with stage four cancer that lives the longest. I'm gonna break all the records. Yeah. And Kelly Taylor is played by actress Jenny Garth. She was 18 years old when filming in 1990, and now she's living out the life at the age of 50. Everything will be okay. I, I love you too. Goodbye. Jeez. Talk about Miss Jitters. She's scared of flying. She's scared of packing. Stupid. What kinds of things were you, what kinds of things did you tussle? I can only remember one incident and that was when, yeah, we took it outside. You David Silver is played by actor Brian Austin Green. In 1990, when filming, he was 17 years old and now he's living out his life at the age of 49. Yeah, I know. You think she'll get a picture in a magazine? Yeah, and meet a lot of suave Frenchmen. Oh, come on, what would you want with some French guy when she's got me? And then to be back together now, um, we still have the, the history of that experience, but we now have more in common than we did back then. Dylan McKay is played by actor Luke Perry. In 1990, when filming, he was 24 years old. Sadly, on March 4th, 2019, he passed away at the age of 52 in Burbank, California, USA. She is the victim here. What they realize is that she broke the law. I gotta get back to her. Right. Yeah. And I heard some of the math about what goes on around this disease. I, I was kind of blown away in that it is, uh, if not the most detectable cancer, it is one of the most. Gina Kincaid is played by actress Vanessa Marcel. In 1998, when filming, she was 30 years old, and now she's living out the life at the age of 54. Sixes all across the board on the triple axel. Nah, definitely. I've heard a lot about you. Well, don't believe more than half. Donna's always been at least 50% too nice. <laughs> oh, so they're clean. I no, <laughs> no. Right. They're disturbing, most likely. <laughs> okay. What does this say, darling? Cindy Walsh is played by actress Carol Potter. She was 42 years old when filming in 1990, and now she's living out the life at the age of 74. And we're fine. <laughs> Brandon I'm worried about. What's the matter? I don't know. He just seems uh, distracted. I'll talk. My job would be, I turned into a waitress of my own family, right? I'm care they're using my, I'm bringing the coffee pot to pour the coffee. Andrea Zuckerman is played by actress Gabrielle Carteris. She was 29 years old when filming in 1990, and now she's living out the life at the age of 62. 
Who? Andre, I don't think I should. Why not? It wouldn't be ethical. Of course it is. Look at Tim Green. He plays for the Atlanta Falcons, and he's a sports commentator on National Public Radio. Yeah. It was wonderful. And it was amazing. They, everybody had kids now. Like, we were adults. We were raising our children. Our children were playing together. Matt Durning is played by actor Daniel Cosgrove. In 1998, when filming, he was 28 years old, and now he's living out the life at the age of 52. I have a list of people for you. Got an electrician, a carpenter, locksmith. Are you a temp agent or something? No, no, no. An attorney, actually. These guys are just former clients. I up car, got to the border, and they weren't going to let me in because I didn't have enough ID. I thought I could get in, couldn't, and then uh, we were able to work it all. Phyllis Martin is played by actress Catherine Cannon. She was 39 years old when filming in 1992, and now she's living out the life at the age of 69. Ah, a little bug. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Brad. Hi, I'm glad you made it. Oh, Mrs. Walsh, this is my mother, Felix. Hi. Hi. You're a very brave woman to host one of these things. Nat Busicchio is played by actor Joe E. Tata. In 1990, when filming, he was 54 years old, and sadly, on August 24th, 2022, he passed away at the age of 85 in Los Angeles, California, USA. See, the food's so good around here, even the help comes on their off days. <laughs> what would you like? Anything you want on the house. What is your favorite character from the movie Beverly Hills 90210? And what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell to wait for my next videos.